ignition, ignition full power, and lift off. There goes a new mission to the International Space Station, the Falcon rocket blasting off today from Cape Canaveral, Florida. On board the capsule, two crew members and two empty seats. The goal to get two astronauts back to Earth after a months long delay. CBS's Manuel Pajorquez is at the Kennedy Space Center with more on the unique mission. This was a dramatic change for NASA. Typically, the SpaceX Crew Dragon carries four passengers into space. This time, it's only carrying two. Into full power and lift off. NASA astronaut Nick Haig and a Russian cosmonaut are now in orbit with two empty seats. Those seats are needed to bring astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams back to Earth. This mission is bigger than any one crew. It's bigger than any one person. And so uh, we've got a dynamic challenge ahead of us. I'd like to extend our congratulations to the entire Crew 9 team. Wilmore and Williams were part of the first crew test flight of Boeing's Starliner capsule. And though it got them to the space station back in June, problems with its propulsion system prompted NASA to look for another ride. This was not the very first option. We wanted to take Starliner to the completion and land it back on land at home. Um, but, you know, you have to turn the page and look at the next opportunity. But it meant bumping two astronauts off this mission, Zena Cardman and Stephanie Wilson. I would be happy to give up a seat for them. If that is the safest thing, that is what's most important. We need to return them safely. Even if all goes as planned, Williams and Wilmore will have to spend another five months in space. Nancy, that's because this latest mission is not set to return to Earth until next February. Hmm. Manny, thank you.